This podcast is part of the Michigan Sports and Entertainment Podcast Network. Go to michigansportsandentertainment.com for more great podcasts. Hello and welcome back to another episode of How Will I Die, starring Nicholas Howe. That's me. This week we have a special guest by the name of Vex. Go ahead and say hi. Hey everyone. This is Vexalia. Is that right? Yeah, Vexalia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, today we're going to just jump right into it. So, first things first. Let's set some. Let's let me tell you that we're recording in a car. Let's start there, because yeah, we're... we're recording in a car, mm-hmm. um, on my phone, mm-hmm. instead of with my fancy studio recording equipment. Also, uh, it's like three a.m. Basically, it's the best way to talk about death. It's the only time to talk yeah. about death. Um, I'm surprised you haven't done this more often. <laughs> me too, honestly. So we're gonna pick our our boy, our Nicholas. <laughs> Name, Nicholas Howe. Give me an age. I'm going to say the fresh age of 26. 26, okay. Two years from now. All right, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> exactly. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, and what does this Nicholas do? Um, this Nicholas actually goes around and exchange, exchanges, it refreshes, like, the Coca-Cola machines. Okay. So, you know, they, they, they deliver and they take out the old ones that are expired and put new ones in. Okay. Probably at some, That's like, terrifying. Yeah. Right. You know, it's, it's, it's mundane, but someone has to do it. Listen, it pays really well. Yeah, it does. Like, shockingly well. Um, but okay. All right. We can, we can work with that. So, uh, where, where do you see this taking place, this death? Uh, this is going to be vending, vending machine, Nick, mm-hmm. Nicholas. Mm-hmm. It's Nicholas because this is going to be a regular episode, not a short two for episode. Mm-hmm. And those ones are Nick's. Um, so this Nicholas is going to be a vending machine refiller. Um, and he's vending machine Nicholas. So mm-hmm. where do you want this to take place? I can see it taking place at a high end apartment complex for like students and okay so basically where we are right now exactly i'm pulling from that we're Um, we're looking around seeing what is in our peripheral vision that's the best way to do improv (laughs) and i think it is early in the morning all right like so like four o'clock two hours from now yeah so so four o'clock in the morning Mm -hmm. all right let's let's get to this so nicholas uh shows up to work he's driving his big old truck uh that has a brand that I can't say because I'll mm-hmm. probably get sued. So, fun fun little backstory thing here. When I signed on to... By the way, I'm on the Michigan Sports and Entertainment Network, as you heard in the original uh, seven seconds of this. And when I was signing on, uh, they are like, if anything happens to come up where there's like a legal problem, you know, we'll deal with it. Mm-hmm. And then they specifically we're like you shouldn't have any problems because you're doing like an improv thing but i feel like if i were to say the name of a soda company right yeah, now it's pretty smart. i would get into some trouble you could say bepsis um bepis uh it's not too cool let's let's just let's just call it soda company okay, okay, okay. soda co inc i hope that's not a real company please don't sue me i have no money it sounds kind of evil <laughs> i like it it sounds soda co inc yeah. okay so Nicholas is driving for Soda Co. Inc. Mm-hmm. and he replaces the uh, the soda in vending machines, and he's at this apartment complex, just kind of just kind of filling up the machines. There's like three machines in a row. He gets through the first two pretty easily. Mm-hmm. He he fills it with the the fa, 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 fampa and the diet Soda Co. And the Soda Co. Mm-hmm. Zero and Soda Co. Light. Soda Co. Light. Uh, Dr. Soda Co. <laughs> Dr. PhD Soda Co. <laughs> Dr. PhD Soda Co. Uh, what are some other fake soda names? Um, uh, Strawberry Co. Sh- Strawberry Co. Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. <laughs> Sprite. <laughs> It has, like, the emoji two lettering. Piece. The yep. emoji lettering, yeah. Yep. Um, what are other sodas? I don't know any other sodas. Paterade. There, there's some Paterade in there. You know, some, like, sports drinks. Yeah, 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 definitely. So maybe some um, Coke. coca Some coca coca yeah. Some coca okay. Yeah, so yeah, this yeah. sounds like, you know, like, energy, you know. You know, yeah, like, sports, yeah, yeah. you know, very masculine. Um, Grunts, yeah. Some, uh, some Mansker. Mansker, that's the hit these days. <laughs> it's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's the dork nighting dances yep, and the yep, 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 yep. 
I, is can we say Fortnite? <laughs> I didn't say Fortnite. I, mean, I said it. I think we can. Don't sue me. The dude who owns Fortnite is up in Raleigh. I know. We can party with him. We're that close. You're I, closer, but I feel like this Nick would deliver to their headquarters. So. Oh, for sure, for sure, yeah. definitely got on that route. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in Raleigh. He definitely delivered yesterday to Fortnite headquarters. Let's see. <laughs> they're no longer Riot Games. They're just Fortnite yeah, headquarters. Fortnite headquarters. <laughs> In order to get a job, it's like, do you know the dances? Mm-hmm. Do you know the lore? There's lore. Yes. There's yeah. There's there's definitely lore, and uh, Nicholas knows it all. Mm-hmm. Trust. Mm-hmm. Um, he learned it as he started delivering sodas. Mm-hmm. Not right now because I don't know any of the lore. Um, but yeah, so he, he's filling up these uh, soda machines, yeah. vending machines. Um, does he do the food ones too? Let's just say soda. Just soda, okay. Yeah, just okay. beverages. That's fine, that's fine. He's a beverage bro. I, I feel that. I, I definitely drink beverages. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Nicholas definitely uh, definitely delivers on beverages. Mm-hmm. Um, and he, he messes up something mm-hmm. uh, trying to unlock the third door. Mm. So, the way that the vending machines work is, so, there's, like, the the box where you put the money in, mm. and then directly under that, there is the key hole. Yeah. His key is stuck in the hole, and it's not turning. Um, and so, he's, like, trying to jimmy it, and mm-hmm. it's just not working. And it's been a long night, and he's a little bit pissed right now. Mm-hmm. He's got the key stuck and he can't quite get it out. And so he's he's had a rough night. Mm-hmm. Um, he's he's been working since 10 p.m. because that makes actually a lot of sense for a shift. 10 mm-hmm. to 10 to 8 or 7, one of those two. Yeah. And he's just had enough of it. Mm-hmm. This is probably like the fourth machine tonight that's done this. Mm-hmm. And at the other machines, he figured out a plan, which was to just kind of shake the machine a little bit. That's the first thing they tell you not to do. That That is the very, literally the very first thing that they tell you not to do when you start delivering mm-hmm. sodas is to not shake the machines. But you know what? Nicholas has had enough tonight. Oh, gosh. And he's going to shake that machine. So he uh, does. Nothing happens, though, immediately. That's like, good. He, he doesn't get the key mm-hmm. unjimmied, uh, but he definitely keeps trying for a minute. And then he just, regular shaking isn't working. Okay. So he puts one hand on the left top, oh. top left, one hand on the top right, and he starts the full rocking tilt. his body for a full tilt. Oh my gosh. Except mm. as he leans back a little too far, yeah. his foot slips, the whole machine falls on top of him. Soda Co. Crushes him in Soda Co goodness. Damn. Well, it was pretty empty. The, yeah. These college teens drinking all the soda co. <laughs> and that motto is just that good. It's just that good. Yeah, it's just that good. Have some of that goodness. <laughs> good. Yes. This is a dash. There, there is. There's two dashes that got merged together. <laughs> Someone already had that slogan, and so it's dash dash. <laughs> yeah. So Nicholas died. That's really sad. Yeah. I didn't want him to die. I mean, he's gonna die every time. But I didn't want him to die. He was living his best life with the Fortnite men. <laughs> yeah, with the Fortnite men. Soda Soda Co. So, soda Co. Soda Co. Don't go. <laughs> so yeah, so Nicholas is now dead from the soda machine, which is really sad. So the reason we're talking about this one is because we're in a. First of all, we're in my car. Like I already said, we're also in a an apartment complex, and I think you can see. A vending machine? Yeah, I can see one. I, I can definitely see the light from a machine, but it I can't see the actual swipe, sh- machine. Swipe. That's that light, light, soda yeah. co logo. That light, light, soda co logo. logo. Um, mm-hmm. But uh, there's there's that fact. And the fact that so many people actually die every year of uh, tipping those things onto themselves. A lot of uh, older people and children. Yeah. It happens to them it's a lot. scary. Yeah. Soda machines actually account for like quite a lot of deaths. I know way more than like Sharks. shark attacks. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, definitely not as much as car accidents. <laughs> I hope not. Because God, that would be a terrifying world. Media has been lying to us. That's yeah, a deep honestly. state threat right there. 
It might be more than flight accidents. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. I, can I don't. See that one. I don't. I don't actually know. This know one's entirely like, unresearched. Yeah, I know more than like ra- raccoon attacks. It definitely. That's on definitely the more than most uh, animal, animal attacks. Yeah. yeah, which is wild. It is wild. Welcome to the middle section where we talk about any recommendations we have, as well as in the future some sponsorships. Uh, this week we don't have any sponsors, mm-hmm. but we do have some recommendations. And the first recommendation is going to come from me, uh, Nicholas Howe, because, like I said, it's been a few weeks since I joined the network, and there are a lot of great shows. Um, One show in particular I want to shout out to is Massive Late Fee. Um, I was just in their second most recent episode, which came out last week on Thursday, uh, talking about SNL Through the Ages. And we made some pretty good goofs and some pretty good jokes. So definitely go over there and check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, check out their whole show. It's a it's a very fun show with some very fun guys. Mark and Mike are really great dudes. Um, so definitely go check them out. That's Massive Late Fee. Uh, and they're also on the MSE network. Mm-hmm. Um, also follow the... Uh, we have a new Twitter that we nice, are posting nice, nice. all of our podcasts mm-hmm. to... Uh, which is MSE Network on Twitter. So that's at MSE Network on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Vex, you have a recommendation? Yeah, I have a really good uh, graphic novel. It's uh, from Image Comics. It's called Monstrous. It came out in 2015 and it was by Marjorie Liu and it was drawn by Sana uh, Tadaki. Tadaki? Oh, he's not. Uh, I, I do not remember. <laughs> um, t- sorry, Sa- Sarah. Um, Asana, um, and it follows this girl in a, a matriarchal world inspired early 20th century Asia, and it's a beautiful, very vivid, graphic, dark, um, with like mystery and a little bit of humor, and I don't know, I, it's, it, I just recommend reading it because you open up the book, and even if you're not that into graphic novels, but you love art, it's not the traditional comic, like superhero, like I'm gonna punch you in the face, but it's something which you'd see on um, like throughout cinema, like to- mm-hmm. stories of folklore, and that's what really drew me in as a comic book lover. Um, and so I recommend Monstrous. It's uh, it's it's still going. It's still we'll go for a while. So I recommend giving it a read and telling us what you think on Twitter. It, it is very good. Marjorie Liu is a great writer. Uh, she's won a GLAAD award mm-hmm. uh, for her writing on X-Men, I believe. Mm-hmm. And she's an amazing writer, and the art is really amazing. I don't remember the artist's name. Sorry, Sana Takeda. Um, and they're both, they're a really good team. And uh, Monstrous was on a break for a little bit. And they came back in, at some point in 2018. Mm-hmm. And they've been killing it ever since. It's a really good story, really good art, and honestly, just a lot of fun. So definitely check them out. Yeah, it's a really good ride. All right, that's going to do it for this middle section. And we will see you back in the regular show in just two seconds. So, Nicholas Howe. The vending machine man. How likely do you think that is? Let's let's go over those facts. Vending machines exist. Yes. Yes. Soda Co does not. Yes. It's very similar. <laughs> um, <laughs> did Fortnite stuff at some point? Yes. yes. I played it once. Um, You're pretty good at it. I thought. <laughs> I played one time uh-huh. and got to the top. Uh, five, and that okay, makes okay. me very good. Okay, yeah, that makes <laughs> better than me. Yeah. Um, and then also t- around apartments, because I'm normally around those. Yeah, you live That was apartments. a weird one, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so knowing these facts now, out of ten, we're going to give this one a rating mm-hmm. about how likely it is that that's going to be the way that I die. What do you think? I think a seven and a half. Seven and a half? Okay. I don't think you'll necessarily... Like, the likelihood of you working for a soda co I don't think that'll happen, but I feel that at late at night when you're tired and you're hungry and you're frustrated, you forget the first rule. Don't tilt it, you know? That's very true. But, we, you know, and it's very common, like you talked about. Like, yep. You, I'm not going to say you'd ever be, like, out of a state of mind or anything, which is just exhaustion, right? You know? And I, I feel like... I feel like seven and a half, because it could happen to anyone, and we don't think about it, and we're hungry, and we need that. Or we need that, you know, refresh. We need that... You that good happiness, you know. Pop I feel it up. that. I feel. You I know, do pop feel it that. So 7.5. I, the the reason I'm definitely gonna say at least a seven uh, is because I've done it before. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm an actual idiot boy, uh, and I have definitely like 
shook machines yeah. before. Uh, so not as many like soda machines, mm-hmm. but the food vending machines. Yeah, I've yeah, done yeah. those a lot, especially when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. At, at an apartment complex. Mm-hmm. That was specifically where I did it. So I'm going to say definitely a seven, seven and a half. I'm going to go seven okay, and a half okay. as well. Um, just because that, that definitely feels like something I'm going to yeah. do. I can day. definitely think with like food too because you can see it. And if it's not coming yeah. out, you want it, right? Yeah. And I'll be mad if it doesn't come exactly. out because I paid good money for that. I paid a dollar seventy five for those stupid chips. I don't know how much things cost in a vending No, no, machine. yeah. Like Lay's chips, $1.75. Yeah. Yeah. I would never pay $1.75 for Lay's chips. I wouldn't pay I'd anything so for Lay's chips. I'm so poor. God. I'm poor too. <laughs> <laughs> I I would probably pay like a dollar for some chips in a vending machine. I've definitely paid 75 cents before. Yeah, yeah For yeah. sure. Yeah. And those honey buns that you can get out of vending machines. Yeah, mm. I've paid for those. It's a fair trade. I'm a chubby boy. It's fine. So for this last segment, we're not going to be doing uh, Spam Slam Mm -hmm. because, like I said, we're in a car uh, and I don't have the spam emails with me. I'm also recording on my phone. So instead, we're going to do a few rounds of Thoughts On. Okay, 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 okay. So Thoughts On, I'm going to say a... I'm going to say a word and then you're going to say a word at some point. Okay. Uh, And we're going to give our thoughts on the topic. Mm -hmm. So let's start out real strong. Thoughts On Comics. Comics, I think they're undervalued because people think they're juvenile, but at the end of the day, they can bring people into a new world through the combination of art and words, because some people don't... It's hard to read. You know, reading is hard, right? And so through that, they can go into worlds and not be so exclusionary. Um, that's me. Um, I got a word for you. I got a word for you. Okay. Um, oof. Let's think about this. Whole well, let, th- hold on. Let me give my thing on comics. Oh, okay, I didn't know. Okay. Just because I do want to say something about it. So I'm a huge comic book fan, aspiring comic book writer. I want to write for DC one day. That it's doesn't mean that I love DC mm-hmm, with mm-hmm. all my heart, especially right now. I was very uh, tragically hurt by what they did with Heroes in Crisis, which is the major comic oh, yeah, event right now. That. Um, I'm not going to go into too much detail with it, but I don't feel like they did everything that they could have done well with it. Uh, specifically in the fact that they killed off so many characters that deserved a second chance. Did they... Let Arrow and Wally gonna... West have a second chance. Not just... Arrow, but Roy Harper. Yeah, I was whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, next topic. Next topic. Um, this has been on my mind a lot. Colts. Colts. Um, they're cool sometimes. Yeah. If they're in a movie, in real yeah. life, they're not great. Yeah. Uh, we, there has not been a good cult in the world yet that mm-hmm. I've seen. Mm-hmm. I guess if you want to call the Illuminati a cult, then mm-hmm. they're the best cult. Yeah. But uh, not not for me. I would lead a cult because that's a lot of money to make. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Um, I think it all comes down to branding and marketing. Like, what's... okay? All religions started somewhere. All movements started... It's only when... I, okay, I looked up on WikiHow how, how to start a cult. First off, mm-hmm. all cards on the table. I'm thinking about it. But I wanted to. I want to benefit the world with my cult, right? And so I just want to make things going forward. I, I don't know. And so for me, cult has a bad rap. It's 2019. Let's bring back cults for the world. You know? But like good cults, yeah, right? No, good cults. Good Not cults. like Jim Jones. No, 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 no. I don't... <laughs> It's all for me. It's all about positivity, positivity, and maybe like absurd, absurd, like absurd, like absurd. It's like you know, like we are going to die eventually. Let's be together and like collectively do something. And I say cult as a way like to be absurd or to use something in order to like meme on people to get like you know to get publicity, right? I think it's like I am labeling it as a cult because people think it is bad, right? It's like in order okay. to like twist it. I don't know. It's kind of funny to me. Like, I'm going to start a cult. Like you said, you can make money out of it. You can start things. And I don't know. I just, I want people to talk, bring that cult. You know, it, it's not I that bad. I could get so famous having a cult. You could. What's the difference between having a podcast and a cult? Damn, that's correct. Hey, you're in a cult now, listener. <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, uh, final this topic. This is how you all die. <laughs> <laughs> this is how the viewers die. <laughs> no, 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 This no, is no. how I die. By <laughs> but getting viewers... so high on a horse. And leading a cult, and then I die <laughs> because you guys turn against me. Ten out of ten. Um, okay. Uh, final final topic. Um, privatized malls. So stuff like a mall that is owned by one company, and it's the whole thing. Like 
something where it's like they all, all own all the like the shops and like Baymare. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, I don't like I don't like malls at all. Um, I don't really like brick and mortar stores. Mm-hmm. They do give jobs, but they're also like service industry, and for the most part, it's a specific like clientele. Like it's not really accessible for like style. And there comes a point where like other retail, it's like you know the thrift shopping. Now that's like bougie. So like for me, I'm less so inclined to spend money there. I understand if you want to. It just the privatization. It just it, I don't know. It rubs me the wrong way. That's just that's just. Okay. Um, I super believe in like you being able to do what you want with your own money mm-hmm, and everything. Same. I think that at a certain point when you have an entire section of a city that is part of a mall, even though there's like the whole residential villages Above. and everything, oh, yeah. I don't think that that's super chill. Um, and if we're talking about, so getting away from like the privatized ones, mm-hmm. if we're talking about what happens to malls after they die. We have a mall here that's an yes. indoor mall that's going out of business. Everything is going out of business. They're going to tear it down in favor of a new outdoor mall, which instead, if you wanted to, I don't know, help the community for a second, housing, you and... could do housing with it, which would fit so many people yeah. that don't have homes. Yeah. But, you know, that's just my thoughts on that. Yeah, because it's like the whole idea of we're going toward like this like European like a villa, like here's the shopping and then I'm tired of the housing. Again, it's clustering. Well, you know, like, spend what you want. Right. But it comes like we could use this land and means in private enterprise to create something to help the majority. Right. Mm-hmm. And I, it's it's something very frustrating that I also agree with you on. Also, the rampant abuse of homeless people at places like Bayfair. Baymer, yeah. whatever. You didn't hear yeah. me say the actual words. <laughs> um, where they will literally kick uh, homeless people out of, off the premises. Yeah. Which the premises it's is private. like 10 city square blocks. Yeah. Which is freaking wild to me. But whatever, I guess. Any last thoughts? I feel like we can fix that with our cult. Yeah. We, we got to start a cult. Got to do it. All right. So... <laughs> Go ahead and uh, join our cult uh, by following at H-W-I-D-I-E-P-O-D on Twitter. Uh, Vex, do you want to plug your Twitter? Yeah, please follow me at at nihilistic.nips on Twitter. Okay. Don't forget to follow MSE Network Mm -hmm. for all the latest Michigan sports and entertainment podcasts. It's a great network and full of fun people. And we will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.